On the microprobe, just first navigate to the file you're looking for. I already did this because it, took quite, it takes quite a while to um, get all the until all the individual files are loaded. Then once you've done this, uh, go to summary, which might also take a second. And in the summary, we'll do this very simple and straightforward. Because we are only, let's see this opened somewhere, nope. Because we are only, there it is. Um, it's just exporting everything. That's the simplest. Just going to all, to Excel, and we are done. So this really is how we want to do this. And now we've got everything. Now, the thing is that this actually so far is only for the flank measurements, only for, for these here. Um, because for the element concentrations, we want to make an offline correction in which we delete these files here. So I will show how we are doing this. So going to offline correction here, offline correction. Um, now I'm selecting just a few, it doesn't take too long. I'm just selecting just 12 or so, otherwise I would, of course, select all. Um, then go to batch correction and drop them here. This takes a little. And then I am deleting Uh, these fake elements here. Just going to delete. Okay. And delete the other one. This takes a little bit. Okay. Delete this one. It takes quite a while. And we are very patient. And delete this one, and also delete the fourth. Okay, so um, all these parameters should have been read in when I inserted the data here, so I can here only navigate to the correct folder which was in this case, in this link measurements. And um, so actually I always use Armstrong, which I saw, so changes to Armstrong. So I think that's better. And make just a test folder here. And start this. And then we'll get here the additional data. So this should be quick, as I only selected a few. And I make a summary from these as well. And I again say one. Okay, so now this is my correct file here. So here are all the um, elements have been calculated without these fake elements. So what I'm going to do now is, from here, I only copy um, the, the net intensities of these four fake elements used for um, the flank measurement. So I'm going to need to find the net intensities. There they are. 
and select these four columns. Uh, two and the other two. I just copy them into the other Excel file, which is here. And actually, it doesn't matter where I copy them. So I can just copy them right at the end of the file. So I just copy them here. And the other two, this one is the same thing. And I copy them here. Okay, so this is it. So I can close this file. And so I'm done here. So of course, um, I just selected a few from the um, offline correction. Otherwise, this would have exactly the same number of rows here, which is not the case, but I think it's clear that um, in the normal case, this would be what is happening. Okay, so then I need to delete these first two rows because they are causing problems. And what I also need to delete are these last rows here. So the best thing is to delete these last couple of rows here. Um, delete. Okay, so then again, um, in the normal case, um, our data set would end, for example, for example here. So this would be the last row of our data set. Okay, so then one last thing I need to do to prepare the data set is to insert an additional row here. So I insert an additional row and this row is called inspected. So the name of the rows here is very important. So this needs to be called inspect and then you can make an additional row. This is not mandatory. The inspect is mandatory. You can have here one um, inspected comment and now I will tell you what to do with these two rows. First is you need to copy all the names here in the inspected column. This will become clear later why this is required. Now you just this is what you need to do. Now this inspected comment here this is just for you. So again this is not mandatory so this is later you could put in some 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 comments while you are going through your file. But for now this is how you need to prepare the data set. Now it's all good. Um, and I recommend to also keep maybe an Excel file but what you need for the flank quant method is a CSV file so you need to save it as okay, then I need some um, the correct and then for example I just yeah, and then I save it as comma delimited file Okay. Um, there are sometimes two different CSV files, like MACNA or even more MS-DOS and so on. Um, just choose the, in this one here where it only says comma delimited CSV. Save it, I'm not doing this now, just deleting this. And you're good to go, now you have um, your data file ready to work with it with the flunk quant method.